Hey y'all, Brooke the Broker here. We are heading into the spring 2022 real estate market. And I just wanted to do this quick video to let you know what to expect in the spring market. So the spring market in the Fredericksburg area is April, May, and June. Okay, April, May, and June. So there are three things I wanna to touch on today. Number one is the fact that interest rates have gone up and will continue to go up through the spring market. As a matter of fact, they will continue to go up through the year. I wanna talk about how that has an impact, impact on the market. Number two, I wanna talk about pricing. I wanna talk about prices. Are they gonna go up? Are they gonna go down? What will happen with pricing? And number three, I want to talk about inventory. How many houses are on the market? How many houses are coming on the market? Is that going to change? So let's touch on those three now. Number one, interest rates have gone up. And as of the recording of this video, this is March 31st, 2022. As of the recording of this video, interest rates are right about 5%. Now let's go back a year and interest rates were at two and a half, 2.75 percent. So they basically kind of doubled. So that absolutely is having an impact on especially first time home buyers. So if you are a buyer and you are in the market and you want to buy a home this year, you need to get your act together and buy your house sooner rather than later, okay? I believe interest rates are going to go up again in May, and I believe they're going to go up again a couple times in the summer just for a little teeny bit, and then they're going to go up again after the election in the fall. So this is your opportunity to get in if that is what you want to do. With inflation, rent prices are going up as well, probably at a higher rate than your payment for your, a new mortgage would be. So if you're in the market to buy, you need to get in now. A couple of our lenders that we refer, they have a special program where you can lock in your interest rate without having identified the next property. It only lasts for 30 or 60 days, so that means you need to get your act together and find a house, but you can lock into today's rates. So if the rates go up over the next 60 days, you are locked in. And part of that program, if the rates go lower, you are allowed one float down. So if the rates go lower down, you can lock into that new rate. So again, today's the day. If you want a referral to a loan officer that can help you with that, please reach out to me and uh, I can get back to you with that. Number two, pricing. With the number of first time home buyers starting to slip off because interest rates are going up and some first time home buyers are gonna just be priced out of the market as a result. That is the first domino that has to fall in order for the move up uh, sale to happen and then the big house and then the downsizing and all these things. It's that whole domino effect. So with first time home buyers not being in the market as strongly as they were before, how is that going to have an impact on pricing? And here is my answer. Prices are going to continue to rise throughout the rest of the year. They're just not going to be rising like this. They're going to be rising like this. So prices are going to continue to go up, just not as dramatically as they have been every single month. And I think overall, we'll see maybe a 3 to 5% average price value increase over the course of the entire year. So right now we're seeing it go fast, and then we're going to see it kind of level off. And looking at the two, the average is going to be about 3 to 5% by the end of the year. So we talk about uh, the economy and maybe there's talk about a recession and all this kind of stuff coming, please understand there were only two recessions when house values did not increase. The first was the Great Depression. <laughs> and the second was the Great Recession, which really was a depression that we just had that was actually caused by mortgages and real estate to begin with. All the other recessions we had, values continued to rise. So I know there's a bad taste in everyone's mouth from 2008 that they're going to lose value on the house. That is 
not going to happen. It's going to stabilize and continue to increase, but just at a reasonable, normal amount, 3 to 5% a year. So that's what's happening with home values. Inventory. So when sellers start to hear that demand is starting to go down and the interest rates are going up, a lot of sellers are going to say to themselves, oh my gosh, did we miss our opportunity to take advantage of this market? And a whole bunch of listings are going to come on the market. Now, back in 2008, a whole bunch of listings came on the market, but they were all foreclosures. These are going to be a bunch of houses coming on the market that are everyday sellers and they want to sell. And the demand is so high right now. There are so many buyers still out there that the, those homes will continue to sell. So as a buyer, you will have more opportunities. You will have more houses to choose from. And as a seller with more competition for your home out there, all it really means is it might take a little bit longer for your house to sell. It's not going to sell in five days, which is what our average is for our area right now. It's not going to sell in five days. It might sell in two weeks. It might sell in three weeks. Normal selling time is 60 to 90 days. So we're still better than that. But please understand more inventory will come on, but that will result in longer days on market. So please don't panic. That's just the way it is. Okay? I think you'll be okay. So to recap, the three things I touched on for the spring market is number one, interest rates going up. And as a buyer, what you need to do about that right now. Number two, the values are going to continue to increase, just not at the vertical level that they had been for the last couple of years, but they will continue to increase. So that is very good for both sellers and for buyers at the same time. And number three, inventory. There's going to be more homes coming on the market, probably in the July timeframe. Uh, so you'll see more homes to choose from, more competition, and that's just going to result in a little bit longer time on the market. So just be prepared for that. So I've been helping buyers and sellers in Fredericksburg for just about 19 years now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. But if you're in the market to buy or sell in the Fredericksburg area, please reach out. We would love to help you and we can share specific market information about your home, what to expect, and we will go to work for you to make sure you get the best deal possible. Look forward to seeing you next time.